What is good, y'all? This is JB here today. Got an album haul for you guys. Now, today I got six albums for you guys that I just picked up. This one I got yesterday, and these I all got today. So these are very fresh new additions to my collection, and I know y'all like to keep up with my collection. So let's just get into it. Uh, first one we have is Born of Osiris, Soul Sphere. It's their newest album, you know, uh, metalcore band. I'm a huge fan. It's act They're actually my favorite metal band. Uh, and you know they do this you know technical death deathcore kind of thing uh, absolutely fantastic I mean they're not breaking any new ground with this album uh, it's definitely reminiscent of like some of the riffs of like I would say the discovery mixed with some of the aggressive parts of a new rain um, so that that's definitely the vibes I'm getting in terms of that uh, but yeah I mean consistency that that's why I feel like I really value from Born of Osiris if you like their last two projects the discovery and tomorrow we die alive this would be you know just another album to, to really get into and that's some really you know it has a lot of what I liked about the other album which is some of the atmospheric qualities of it some of the interludes that are not really their own separate tracks but tagged on the end and the beginning of other tracks like the transition pieces that have like this crazy kind of like Egyptian celestial kind of feel to it that some people you know feel like it's kind of like a bored concept but i feel like they evolve it and they mature it with each project and i feel like it's kind of been mastered here uh, i would say for their next project i would prefer if they went a particularly different direction because i don't know how really this kind of you know thing they got going can really last but as of right now it's working and i really like it so again that's born of osiris's soul sphere we got joe buttons uh, all of lost this is the third entry in his series, you know, it's some lo it's love loss and no love loss. This is uh, All of Loss, it's his latest album. I just picked it up today, so I have not listened to it yet, but I have heard some of the singles off it, like Immortal, that he just dropped the music video today as right now filming it. Uh, yo, Joe Budden, man, if you're not familiar with him, you know, uh, MC, you know, definitely part of that whole Shady Collective, you know, with Eminem, uh, part of Slaughterhouse, that, that you know, rap collective. Uh, with Joel Ortiz and Royce the Five Nine, for example, and uh, uh, Crooked Crooked Eye. I guess he goes by King Crooked now. I guess. Uh, so you know, um, I'm a big fan of Joe Budden's work. Uh, if you're mo if you're not too too familiar with him, and but you do know a little bit about rap, he's the pump it up dude. Uh, yeah, but you know he's you know been in a lot of stuff lately, like loving hip hop, and now he's in couples therapy, and um, he he did a battle not too long ago. Well, it's more like a year now. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm a big fan of his work. To me, he's one of the ones that really took this the emotional rap thing, but with bars, uh, you know, really to the next level. And I feel like he kind of grandfathered that stuff that, you know, kind of paved the way for guys like Drake to do it now. So yeah, man, uh, Joe Budden, big fan of his work. And I'm definitely really excited to check out this album because the singles I've heard from it thus far have been really good. Next album I'm really excited about, we got Method Man's The Meth Lab. Now, if you're not familiar with Method Man, you're slipping. Uh, Method Man, member of Wu-Tang and the Method Man and Red Man Collective. Uh, yo, man, East Coast legend for sure. And so finally, we got a new album by him. Y'all know I'm a big Wu-Tang fan and I pick up everything Wu-Tang and all the Wu-Tang affiliates and all solo works. Lately, it's been a lot of Ghostface we've been getting. Now finally, and we got Inspect the Deck with uh, Zarface. So now we got Method Man and Rayquan. I'm slipping. Uh, I got, we, get, we had Rayquan's album too. And so now Method Man's up with Meth Lab. Again, got it today, have not heard it yet, so I can't speak as to the goodness of this album. But I mean, it's Method Man. You know, you're always going to get that particular, you know, gritty East Coast, you know, hard-hitting, grimy kind of style from him that I've just come to absolutely love. He's one of my favorite MCs of all time. So, uh, really excited to check out this album. Got some really good features on here. I mean, you got Corey Guns from Young Money. Uh, Mac Wild, it's been a while since we've, you know, heard, uh, I've heard anything from him at least. Uh, of course, Red Man, we got Uncle Murda. Um, Inspect the Deck, that I was really hoping. Y'all know Inspect the Deck is my favorite member of Wu-Tang, so I'm really excited to, you know, see that he has a future. Raekwon, Master Killer, that is what, like, blew my mind. I was like, yo, Master Killer coming out of nowhere. I love it. Um, yeah, so, I mean, definitely a lot of great features on here. A lot of someone named uh, Street Life, I'm not familiar with, but uh, that person's all over this album, hands-on. So I'm assuming these are some kind of members that, or some people that are affiliated with Method Man in some way. So, yo, really excited about this. Again, Method Man's The Meth Lab. Fourth album we got is More Legends, Capone and Noriega Lessons. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, Capone and Noriega, they put out the classic hip-hop album, War Report. 
and uh, I'm just a huge fan of their work. You know, they really bubbled in, you know, real late 90s to the early 2000s, and they really, man, they put their stamp on that lyrical, grimy, you know, hard-hitting, aggressive kind of rap style that I've come to really love, and, you know, they're always about them bars. Um, you know, it's been a while since I picked up a new Capone Noriega project. The last project they put out, I believe, had to been in... It was War Report 2 and I think, what, 2010, if I'm not mistaken? So it's been a good five years, I believe, since uh, they dropped anything new. And my first kind of uh, look into this album was the, the song Shooters Worldwide by Jalil Beats. Shout out to Jalil Beats. And I'm not going to lie to you, it, it posted on Worldstar and I was like, oh god, this album... Like, I'm scared for it. I was scared for it at that point because that song was sound... It, it was like a trap style beat, but it was so, like, out of their comfort zone, I could tell. Uh, yeah, I wasn't feeling that song. But from what I have hear, and again, I got this album today. Have not heard it yet. Out of all these albums, I mean, I've heard Born of Osiris and then the last two here. But um, this is one of the albums I have not heard yet. But from what I hear of all my friends who have heard this album, they say that Shooters Worldwide is not what this album really goes for it's kind of like a standout track that they feel like was made for like radio kind of stuff so um yeah i mean i'm really excited to check this out but again capone noriega's lessons glad to have this now this right here i feel like is an, a must have album if you consider yourself a hip-hop head we got dr dre's compton of course long overdue you know it's been a minute uh I, I wanted to buy it on amazon a while back and then it sold out and then i kind of just fell off my radar so it was finally back in stock and i kind of just bumped into it. i'm like what am i waiting for so i picked up this album absolutely fantastic album uh when you know how the whole straight out of Compton thing was happening this was in regular rotation for a lot of people including myself uh you know i'm a huge dre fan and uh we, you know with us waiting for detox for so long i mean we got his third project here, whether you, whether you want to consider it his project or just a soundtrack. This album is fantastic. I mean, let me just read some of the features off for you guys. I got King Mez off the rip, Kendrick Lamar, man, BJ the Chicago Kid, Anderson Pac is all over this. Um, Exhibit, he brings out Exhibit, he brings out Ice Cube on this. He brings out John Connor, Snoop Dogg, The Game, John Connor, Jill Scott. I mean, the list goes on Eminem towards the end there, man. So, I mean, we're talking about an absolutely banger. I mean, this is 16 tracks. I don't know if there's a deluxe edition, but uh, I have. I, I bought this album digitally, but I was like, yo, I need the physical. Especially when I went to FYE, and they had it for mad expensive price at the time, so that's why I didn't buy it there. But um, And I knew, I was like, I can get it online for cheaper. Uh, when I saw this design cover, like, if, if you guys could see, oh, man, it's just this joint looks fire. So uh, I was like, you know, I absolutely need to pick this album up, West Coast. I, I think, who knows, you know, 10 years from now, we got, we got ourselves a classic on here. And then lastly, you know, another West Coast MC. Y'all know I'm a big hip hop head, so I gotta buy all forms of the album. We got the game's documentary 2.5, of course. Now if you hear, disc is loose. I got it broken, the little center part that keeps the, the disc in place. It, that, that broke, so that's a shame. So uh, my disc is kind of loose. So that's why I'm trying to hold it carefully. Um, but yeah, man, Documentary 2.5. You know, this is 19 more tracks, uh, including the, the um, bonus content, which I'm looking on this. And when I get, now that I have the physical, because I did buy it digital. Y'all know, I, I'm a fiend on this. Um, I did uh, I did look, and it only has 17 tracks on here. So this, this on this physical part, it does not have like all 19 tracks. But uh, digitally, I have it already, so I'm not worried about it. And one of the, like, for example, El Chapo, the Skrillex produced uh, song, is not on here. But I mean, pretty much everything is. Um, a lot of people are saying that they like 2.5 more, and upon listening to it, me personally, this is just me personally, I feel like Documentary 2.5 is definitely more the iconic West Coast kind of game feel. But I personally enjoy the first part more. Uh, I feel like the the first part was a tad more ambitious and I felt like even though this was a this was a banger you know start to finish for me it was just really well crafted songs um, I felt like the first one was just a tad more ambitious I felt like he tried to do a couple more things and even though you might regard that as you know him you know real messing up and not you know sticking to what he knows how to do best I enjoy risk taking and I think in certain parts he really did succeed so uh, out of the two parts I like two better but 2.5 it's a must-have item and it's not a complete project until you have both um, so as a summary again we got Born of Osiris's Soul Sphere, Joe Budden's All of Lost, Method Man's The Meth Lab, 
Capone and Noriega's Lessons, the Compton soundtrack, and Documentary 2.5. If you have any questions about any of these albums, shoot it down in the uh, comment section below. Till next time, this is JV. I love you guys. Bye.